Myra, and welcome to Camp My My. I'm in Two Harbors, Minnesota right now at a place called Burlington Bay, which is a beautiful place, but the campground is so tight. Like I just have the tiniest little car that I'm camping in and my neighbor is so close to me that I feel like I can't even get up and cook or anything when it's too early. It's terrible. I'm here with my sister, brother-in-law, and their family, and we're on a rock hunting trip on the north shore of Lake Superior. Hey, here's a little bit of my setup. I've been camping two days so far, as you can see. This campground is very tight. My neighbors are really close. So I had to put my pillow on that side because I'm tilted down a little bit on the front of my Element. I had to sleep with my head to the back. I also have the screens by Element Driven. And I have the screen for the back too, but I haven't used it yet just because it's so crowded in this campground that I don't want people to see me hanging out the back of my car. I've got my refrigerator underneath there. But I have this little shelf that I got at Target. So I've got a couple bins just full of like fans and things like that. What do I even have in here? A Lucy light, which doesn't take any power. That's where I keep my dry food back in there. And I also kind of use it as a nightstand. And then I can access it from the back, which is kind of my kitchen area. These are REI storage bags, which are very sturdy. So all my clothes are in those. But all this will come down when I'm driving. I'll just put it on the bed. So I'm happy with that. My Goal Zero light, which I power. I'll show you how I power that. This is the coolest thing. I have a little Goal Zero Yeti 200 back in here. And it literally fits exactly in the space in the Honda Element. It's a little cup holder, like an extra cup holder, or you can throw your change in there or whatever. I watched this, I think his name is Steven Aldaco. I'll put a link to his channel. He pointed this out and I had to run out and test it to make sure it was true. Sure enough, it fits right in there perfectly like it was made for it. <laughs> refrigerator my refrigerator my ice co says 35 degrees and this is reading that it's 48 degrees so i'm not sure which is right the second one is the thermometer in the element which is 51 so i'm going to plug in my little heater and see if we can get this to warm up this is my goal zero yeti 400 which is a beast i've been running my refrigerator from this and it's not taking a lot of power obviously because it's actually colder in the element right now so it's not drawing any power and this is the little my heat unit that i'm testing out and i'll turn this on so i can have power and then we'll see hopefully this will work and then on it's supposed to be 200 watts but it's closer to 300 but i can feel heat coming out of it already so I'm gonna let it go for about five minutes and we'll see if it warms it up at all. It's actually been about 20 minutes and we're up to 57 degrees. If I go down here and look at my power, you can see down to 67%. And that, so it's clearly pulling quite a bit of power. In reality, 57 degrees, perfectly tolerable in your van. So. 20, 20 minutes, got it up a few degrees. I have it blowing on me almost too, so that helps warm up. It's not a terrible performance, but if you're boondocking or you don't have access to solar, it's not very efficient. We're driving for a couple hours today, so it'll charge right back up again with the car. This little, um, it's a Goal Zero power pack that charged my my USB heated throw. This is amazing by Pop Design. Everyone should have this because it warms, warms you right up and it takes very little power. So, so this has one bar left after using it all night. Mm -hmm. 